Uh, my name's Ian Wilson, I'm 54 and I'm from Bournemouth originally but I now live here as you can see on a narrowboat because I've been watching this um, dictatorship unfold or this totalitarian tiptoe as David Icke calls it and uh, I think um, I bought this narrowboat about a year ago because I, th I thought to myself our freedoms are quickly going and I've got to get I've got to get out there I've got to be mobile I've, I need to um, be able to move around so I think the cities and towns are not going to be a nice place to live this is this is last March I thought this so I gave up work I I got a divorce from my wife because I couldn't I couldn't handle it. She'd get up in the morning, she'd watch the news every day, she'd follow it. I tried to explain to her that it's the news is completely and utterly bad for your mind and body. She ended up getting cancer, to be honest, and uh, I helped her through the cancer. And then she still put the news on and watched all the negative stuff and I thought, I can't live with this. I had to get out. So I bought this narrowboat, luckily I'd saved up over the years because it's been an idea in my head for a long time. I was able to buy this, just get away, just get away and get my head together. So I haven't been working, I've not been, uh, I've just been bumming around uh, the UK trying to get my head around what's going off. And then this, I was, I was stuck in Oxford for for uh, six months because the Thames was flooded and in that time uh, the coronavirus broke out at the end of this this time I was stuck there and I flew back in from Berlin I went to see my son in Berlin and I flew back in and I thought to myself and the and the virus broke out while I was in Berlin and I flew back in I thought if this, this virus is so serious why is nobody wearing masks why are we being allowed to walk through the airports without any masks or anything. We got through the airport, no one was bothered. And I thought, this is absolutely insane. Something is going off here. So I got back into the UK and while in Ox stuck in Oxford, I, went, I cycled down to Oxford. I cycled down to Oxford um, Hospital and um, there's nobody about. It's completely, utterly empty. This was in the height of the it's supposed to be, hospital's supposed to be jammed full of people. And I, I cycled down to Oxford and uh, the hospital there and no one was about. I filmed it and I rode around the, the grounds and I couldn't see anybody, to be honest. And uh, I just think this whole thing is an absolute and utter scam. So that's just a quick message from me. And uh, Anna, Anna, your work is absolutely amazing and... I love to follow your show, so thanks ever so much for your work, and God bless you and all the people that's uh, involved in this. You know the, this movement uh, of, of waking up. It's, perhaps it's a good thing. This virus, perhaps the virus is a virus of the mind. You know, waking the mind up. Perhaps it's a good thing. Thanks a lot. Cheers.